Ed, I guess it's never easy standing here as captain after after an afternoon like that, and the boys must be bitterly disappointed. Yeah, extremely disappointed. Uh, I think uh, uh, a, f a couple of months ago we thought our top four opportunities were gone, and, and, and for a few results we got that chance again. And today um, it's uh, difficult to, to, to swallow the fact that we've um, let another opportunity slip, really. Both came here with not much to lose, and they they, they really threw all that, threw everything at us. Their defence was was quite fierce at times. It was, but uh, you know, I, I thought we were our own worst enemies at times. Our, our kick game was poor, and we we forced too much, and they, and they they benefited off the back of our mistakes. You got to give them credit. Uh, they did play very well, but um, I can't help but feel it was uh, you know our own undoing with the way we started the game. I guess when Gloucester are having to chase the game in the way they did, the mistakes are going to come. Well, hopefully not. You know, uh, I, I don't think the fact that we're, we're a few points behind, I think it's 13 at half time, doesn't mean we have to force anything. I thought it was well within our grasp. That was a message at half time. Um, but a couple of, a couple of poor uh, scores that they, they scored, and, and uh, we were always chasing from there. I'm guessing this is a resilient bunch that we've seen this season. The boys have bounced back from tough defeats, and I guess it's going to be a hard week. Yeah, it's going to be a, uh, a frustrating 24 hours, but, you, but you're right, we've got to clean the slate and get on with next week. Uh, and then after that, we've also got a final to focus on. So, um, you know, as far as we're concerned, you know, we'll, we'll have the weekend to, to think about it. And then we've got to come back on Monday and, and start with a new plan for Saracens.